And this leads me on to another question. Uh, if you are going to be seeing out win outside those windows and you have to put them in a reasonable amount of light, etc., to to get the information coming in, it also means that the codecs we use and how we use those codecs become more important, right? So I want to ask you if you could comment towards that. Like, I've had a number of people comment to me because they've they've been using new, these new cameras. They're very capable. They do 14, 15 stops. They're, but they're using a more compressed, maybe a, a log, uh, an S log three sort of, etc. Or you know, because I talk to most of the people at Cindy, you know, raw, raw, raw is where you want to be for high dynamic range. But raw is expensive, and raw can sometimes be heavy. So they're still wanting to know. Well, I actually want to stay in the S log three because it works with my workflow. I don't want to have to upgrade anything. But you can make high dynamic range with S log three. But there will be a compromise, I imagine. Can you verbalise that sort of compromise you'll get from using that flow compared to a raw, raw workflow? Have you any experience there? It's a tough subject because yeah. I'm a purist, I like RAW. Me too. Or the closest thing to RAW is do a pure linear light EXR workflow. Yes, that, that's, if I have to choose, that's what I want to do. Can I do an eye dynamic range on a very light compress log material like? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. I, the, the, the good thing about most of the normal codec we are using, the, the, the logarithmic mapping of an S-Log3 or an Alexa log or a red log is still retain all the information that you need unless you heavily go in and manipulate that. That's right. So for most of, if I have to do a TV production, I will definitely say absolutely use a ProRes 444 if that's your choice of file, uh, put a logarithmic image in, you still retain enough information. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it also, Let's not mention the camera, but there are cameras that they have problem with the highlights. And for them, high dynamic range show those problem where they want to hide them. Right. So the, the manufacturer itself have to work a little bit better in fixing that problem and mapping it. Yeah. But it, you can definitely do uh, an absolutely stellar product, theatrically worth, with a very light compressed file in logarithmic. I'm, I'm not seeing any particular problem with that. Well, fantastic. Uh, from my, I've heard other people say that you, you can do it as well, but you just have to be really spot on with your exposure and understand, like you're saying, what's happening outside the window and make sure that you take that into account Yes. when you're doing the S. In RAW, it's, it's important, but not as, you, you've got a lot more latitude to deal with that. But when you're in S-Log, you have to be a little bit more careful and spot on yes, with what the, you're doing. Yes, in HDR, your exposure has to be spot on. You That's can't right. really just run and gun. That's right. If, if you think about it, because we are so used to hide on the on the shoulder of a lookup table a lot of problem we have in the highlights, if you go and you clip it, who cares? Yeah. In HDR, you clip it, it's bloody clipped. You, you, it's a, ain't nothing there, how can that's, I recover? Ain't right. nothing there. Right. So it, it looks really like a mistake at this point. It that's looks right. like a flat panel. Yes. There, there is no way to recover from, from a bad exposure. Yeah. Um, on the black side, uh, I'm not sure. I mean, most of the, of the camera are pretty good, but you, you will feel the noise as well. I mean, it, it tends to be a little bit more buried underneath because it's darker. But you still feel it, yeah. and if you underexpose and you try to bring it up, hey, it's there. Yeah. I mean, it's, I, I'm not a fan of denoising or you know using all this fancy plugin that people use. I, I'm I'll actually like texture, so if yeah. it's a little bit textury, I don't mind. What I don't like is either the, the full crash or full clipping. Um, yeah. And HDR will show that, that a lot, so really? you need to be careful. You need to put the lights. You want to lead your subject correctly. It's difficult to recover if you do a mistake. And so, 